Hello, once again, Kenny Jacobs from Bloomington, Illinois. I'm a PGA golf professional, and my videos talk both about the great game of golf, as well as being a Christian and living in the last days. And it's almost spring, so those of you who do try to uh, watch my videos for some golf-related things, uh, I will be doing some more of those shortly, uh, waiting to get outside and start doing some... Uh, some golf related videos but there's so much going on in the world right now that revolves around end time bible prophecy and so I'm going to continue to get that word out every day as well and I want to do a quick video today you know I love uh, reading the Old Testament stories of how God interact, interacted with people and events and uh, how he spoke to the people, and, and one of the one of the most intriguing and interesting examples of that to me is Daniel chapter five. So I want to start there real quick and read a little bit of that. And it says, Belshazzar the king made a great feast to a thousand of his lords and drank wine before the thousand. Belshazzar, Belshazzar, while he wait while he tasted the wine commanded to bring the golden and silver vessels which his father Nebuchadnezzar had taken out of the temple, which was in Jerusalem, and the king and his princes, his wives, and his concubines might drink therein. Then they brought the golden vessels that were taken out of the temple of the house of God, which was at Jerusalem, and the king and his princes, his wives, and his concubines drank in them. They drank wine and praised the gods of gold and of silver and of brass and of iron and of wood and of stone. In the same hour came forth fingers of a man's hand, and wrote over against the candlestick upon the plaster of the wall of the king's palace. And the king saw the part of the hand that wrote. And this is the writing that was written, Mini, Mini, Tikal, Uparsin. This is the interpretation of the thing. Mini, God hath numbered thy kingdom, and finished it. Tikal, Thou art weighed in the balances, and are found wanting. Perez, thy kingdom is divided, and given to the Medes and Persians. In that night was Belshazzar the king of the Chaldeans slain, and Darius the Mede took the kingdom, being about threescore and two years old. So we're reading a story here about a kingdom that was in decline, was ruled by a ruler who mocked God by drinking from the temple vessels and partying and, and not living by God's laws. And the kingdom was about to be judged and taken away by God. Wow. That sounds an awful lot like America today. There's no doubt America is in decline. We're in decline morally. Examples of that would be, uh, well, we've turned our back on God. We re we're trying to remove God from society, from schools completely. We now have beer churches and naked churches. We've legalized marijuana in some states. We've been legalizing same-sex marriage. People are even offended by the Bible in the name of Jesus anymore. We're certainly in economic decline. In fact, I'd say our, our economy is hanging by its fingertips from a cliff. And the inevitable collapse is both inevitable and planned. I've done other videos about the fact that there's proof that the destruction of the American economy and the dollar is planned to happen. And we're in decline militarily. In fact, it's even come out now that we're intentionally reducing the size of our army back to uh, standards bef to the size prior to World War II. We've, we've just come through the longest war we've ever fought in Afghanistan, we fought in Iraq. I'm not really sure if we've accomplished anything in either of those places. We're not respected anymore by foreign nation by foreign uh, adversaries. Vladimir Putin has made that obvious. And while 
Russia's on the rise militarily and being aggressive. North Korea's saw they, they fired 18 missiles, test missiles again today. China's getting stronger. Iran seeking nuclear weapons, probably may even already have them. All the uh, Mid Middle Eastern Muslim nations are on the rise, and all of them hate America, and all of them hate Israel. And it's obvious that America is no longer respected. So, definitely, America is in decline, just like this we see in Daniel chapter 5. And we mock God. We have a president now who says we're no longer a Christian nation. He praises the Koran. He's constantly on vacation. Or showing up on talk shows. Talk about Obamacare. While the world, while the nation is going is completely in decline. How much longer can our economy really hold up? How much longer is the U.S. dollar going to, be, to, to exist as the world's reserve currency? What's going to happen militarily with the situation in Russia? The Bible makes it clear that soon Russia and her allies are going to attack Israel. And we know that there's going to be a one-world government, one-world religion, one-world monetary system. For all of that to happen, America has to, has to basically be destroyed. And we see that happening right before our very eyes with, with what's going on with our military and our economy. And the one-world religion is forming right now America has to fall and the US dollar has to collapse for the one world monetary system to take over and for the new world order to rise in Daniel chapter 5 we see the collapse of the Babylonian Empire and the Medes and Persians took over Today, America is going to collapse, be judged by God, and then the New World Order is going to take over. God is speaking as loud and as clear to us today as He did in the Old Testament times. He just does it in a different way now. But it's clear, the handwriting is on the wall again. Unfortunately, it seems that most people, again, want to just stick their heads in the sand and believe that America is too big and too strong to ever fall. But I believe the Bible says pride goes before the fall. America is in trouble. This world's in trouble. But it's also very, very exciting if you're a Christian. We know that once this new world order takes over, we know that Jesus is going to return. We also know that he's going to defeat the new world order, and he's going to set up his own kingdom for a thousand years of peace. That's very, very exciting to know the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords is soon to return. And he loves this world so much that he keeps speaking clearly with all the prophetic signs that just keep increasing. I'll do another video this week probably about mass animal deaths. It's unbelievable what's going on with that right now. 7-0 earthquake today in Chile. The earthquakes, again, are getting more and more frequent, but they're also getting more and more intense. There's been several 6-0 six or, six or above and a 7 today. Can't even begin to tell you how many earthquakes we have on a daily basis now around the world that are 4 or higher. It's clear there's wars and rumors of wars. Worlds in moral decline. The church is, in, is t 
turning apostate and lukewarm. No one wants to hear the true gospel anymore. No one wants to repent. Everyone believes that God is too loving of a God to send anyone to hell to judge the world. It's time to wake up. As I said, the handwriting was on the wall in Daniel chapter 5. And it's on the wall today. It's my prayer that we're paying attention. Reading God's word, paying attention to God's message. And preparing our hearts for the soon return of our King. Keep looking up and live in exciting days. He's showing us he's coming back soon. Let's be ready.